Hi, I'm Tessa Davis. I'm a paediatric emergency medicine consultant and I'm one of the co-founders of Don't Forget the Bubbles. We're going to look at the question, how do I do an auricular block? In paediatric emergency, this is a reasonably common procedure and we do it for a range of reasons. By far, the most common reason is that your patient, your child, has a butterfly or the earring itself embedded in their earlobe and you're not able to get it out because the child is in too much distress, discomfort or pain to be able to sit still and tolerate the procedure. You might also do it for an ear laceration or an auricular hematoma. Before you do the procedure, you need to know what it is we're trying to do. So the ear itself is innervated by different branches of nerves. So this isn't a single nerve block. This is a regional nerve block where we're trying to get anaesthetic around the area. And this is what we're trying to do. So we're trying to get anaesthetic around this diamond shape around the ear. So we inject lignocaine superiorly, inferiorly, anteriorly and posteriorly. You're likely to be using 1% lignocaine without adrenaline. You don't need to worry too much about exceeding the max dose here. Uh, we know that uh, the max dose in children is 3 milligrams per kilogram. And in a 10 kilogram child, for example, that would be 3 mils of 1% lignocaine. It's unlikely you're going to get more than 3 mils in this regional block anyway. It's likely to be a couple of mils and probably your patient's going to be more than 10 kilos anyway. So now we've looked at the nerves about what we're aiming for in the area. Let's take a look at the procedure itself. So this is obviously a sped up version, but you can see you want the patient in a good position and you want to clean the ear. And this is the diamond area that you're aiming for. You take your needle and you inject it about a centimeter above the ear and you direct it posteriorly. As you move in, you aspirate and as you withdraw, you inject. And then without taking the actual needle out the skin, you withdraw slightly and angle it anteriorly and you inject the local anesthetic anteriorly. And then you do the same on the inferior aspect. So again, you insert the needle just below the ear, you angle it posteriorly and inject the anaesthetic then, and then without withdrawing the needle from the skin, you angle it anteriorly and you inject the local anaesthetic then. And by doing this, you'll be able to achieve good regional anaesthesia, which will allow you to complete the procedure, which might be removing the earlobe. Thanks to Jessica Britton-George and Arne Somaskanthan for their expertise in that video. My top tips for achieving success in this procedure are the first tip is to make sure you use adjuncts. And by that, I mean that no one loves the sight of a needle coming towards their ear. Your patient's going to be nervous. If you've got a play therapist, this is a great time to use their skills to help relax, distract and reduce the stress of the child to allow you to complete this regional block. You might also want to use nitrous uh, while you're doing the local, the regional block particularly in older children who are, who are anxious about the procedure. My second tip is just the same as you do with any injection, which is that you aspirate as you insert the needle and you inject as you withdraw. And this is to make sure that you aren't in a vessel. And my final tip is to make sure that you only anaesthetize the bits that you need. So I said at the beginning that by far the most common cause or the most common reason for doing this procedure is because you've got a child with an earring embedded in their earlobe. For this, you only need to anaesthetize the lower aspect of the ear. So you don't need to do both injections. You just need to do the one injection inferiorly, angle it posteriorly and then anteriorly, and you'll have got good anesthesia over the lower part of the ear. So I hope now you understand how to do the procedure. I've given you some top tips and I hope that you can confidently and safely do this regional block to allow you to complete your procedure and deliver good patient care.